I went for, uh, back in June of 2004, I went for six months of train up. In January 2005, I was in Iraq until the end of 2005. Uh, most, for the most part, we don't have uh, the soldiers that have had previous Iraq deployment going. How did you get cho chosen this time? The, uh, just the spot they needed filled and the certain, probably the certain rank that I have mm -hmm. and just the positions they needed filled, so I got filled in. Uh, what is your specialty? What, are, what were your uh, qualifications that got you attached to what unit? I am in a, I am 11 Bravo, which is infantry, so they attached me to an infantry unit. Mm -hmm. So, uh, where are you from? I'm originally from Connellsville, okay. but I live in Washington right now. Okay. And this is your family. Yes. You want to introduce your family? <laughs> this is my son Julius and my wife Devin. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Uh, are them fingers good? Yes, they're good. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting teeth money. <laughs> um, how long have two of you been married? About six months. Six months. Uh, how difficult is it? Really you're, 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 you're a newlywed, probably. Yeah. Really yeah. Some support. Uh, I'm sure you support what he's doing. Yeah. yeah. Very proud of him? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you're proud of him, too, huh? I'm very proud of that one. Absolutely. Very scared. Yeah. Like they're both going at the same time. <laughs> but this was sort of sort of planned, wasn't it? Um, yes, they, they this one. He came home from drills that he was deploying before the end of the year. This one's at Calderick Greer. Uh -huh. You had just come off of active active duty? Yeah, I was I was active duty eighty eight to ninety two regular army. <laughs> and just went back in this year, January. Mm -hmm. So I had a long break in service. Mm -hmm. lots, lots, lots changed, a lot of different stuff, but yeah, this ain't the first time. Well, we've talked a lot, or we've talked some. He's taught you a lot. Yes, he has. <laughs> uh <-huh>. Yeah, I do. <laughs> this time, uh, because things have changed. Have you uh, had any overseas deployment prior? Yeah, I was in Panama and was at 90. And everything we was taught back in was all jungle warfare training, all that stuff. And then coming back in, now everything's focused on urban combat. And so this is, I mean, we've had training back then, but everything now is all new to me. So i have got a lot to learn yet, but he's, he's taught me a lot, actually. And when did you decide to enlist? In the uh, I joined when I was 17, and I've been in ever since. And, and is that two years? Uh, November will be three. November will be three. Gosh, you're getting old. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> he just had a birthday. <laughs> so your um, your thoughts on deploying? Uh, it, it's my first time, so I mean, I'm not really sure what to think, but I'm, I'm for the most part, I'm ready to go. Ready to go? Yeah. Uh, go your father is going to. You two are not going to be no, with we're, the same. We're not going to be together. I'm, I'm actually kind of glad we're not going to be together constantly because. Looking just to get away from him. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he's thinking the same thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little bit. Because you have been training together, haven't you? Over, over, yeah. you know, for nearly a year now, mm -hmm. uh, past several months. Uh, do you think he's ready? He's more than ready. He's, he's, he's a good boy. He's, he's been taught ready. And I, I'm all worried about him. Really. He's, he knows what he's doing. And his dad taught him everything that you know. Is yeah. he ready to go? Tried to anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult. Is it, that what it is? It's, it's, it's rough. Old yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and this morning we are here to support the troops and the families of the 110th. And we are passing out uh, American Red Cross comfort kits for the troops. And we are also passing out uh, comfort food for the families and as a unit the American Red Cross hopes to continue to support the family members and the troops while they are over in Iraq, Afghanistan or wherever they may be going this time.